Well, congratulations to you Thank both you. for this slightly sad but very sweet film. And of course, we all know someone who's someone similar to Norman Oppenheimer. That's the character you play. And anyone you kind of base on particularly to play this character, there Norman, wasn't. sir? There wasn't. You know, he, he, I've lived in New York since I was 20. So certainly in my memory bank, there are probably dozens or hundreds of, of Normans mm. that I've encountered. And um, over these 40 or 50 years that I've been doing this, uh, he, he's a specific, to be honest, most of the Normans I've known are more angry. We never talked about this, but mm. have I always get a sense with them that, that there's going to be a payback someday. <laughs> but not this guy. Mm. This Norman is different. His his emotional makeup is specific and unique to him. So what, what do you mean by payback? Yeah, yeah. Was... That there'll be a moment where I'm on top, that, that I'm going to be in a position of power. And, and they'll resent that? They'll resent it. And, and, or maybe he thinks he's going to be on top. That's why he's trying really hard to make but it somewhere. But it's different from this guy. I was just right. you know, going uh, into my memory bank. Mm. I mean, it, it, the, the hardest thing for me was, was getting to this place where you could feel the human reaction of being rejected, but the speed with, and the skill with which he emotionally is able to transform the humiliation into forward motion and, and, and keep all the doors open. Mm -hmm. Never allow a, a door to be final, closed in his face, that, the, that it's unlocked. Mm -hmm. The doors are unlocked. He just has to find the way to, to turn that, that doorknob. Smart guy, though. It's smart. But can be annoying at times. No, it's and smart charming. and, and you know, it, it, it's very much what what uh, we talked about in our very first meetings. This is 2,000 years of Jewish history right. also. Right. Of never having the luxury of being able to say, fuck off. <laughs> we might have to beep that You'll out. You'll beep that out. <laughs> well, but, but you I, know. I have, I have a feeling there are other cultures who, who will identify w with that. I, I mean, feel it's, like it's a universal Thing. Well, we were we were doing it's it down just in Jewish. Miami, and we had a screening there. Oh. And I said, "Are the, there any Jews here? Yeah. Any Latinos here? Yeah, 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 yeah." And we talked afterwards, and it was the Latinos knew this character as much as the the Jews in the audience did. That I think it is a universal character. At mm -hmm. the same time, it is specifically Norman Oppenheimer in New York. It's cold, right, Joseph? When you shot this film, because it feels. So it was freezing. Freezing. Well, I'm glad that showed freezing. because it was, there were nights we were shooting, it was 20 below zero. Your face were like frozen red. I'm like, poor Richard, he's probably so cold well, right was, now. I was, but it was also a thing that he had wrote in the script that this guy is, right. he, his, his body rebels. Mm. He's so ill at ease. Everything in his life is ill at ease that he's always scratching and hives yes. and there's things going on. Wearing e earpiece the entire film. Yeah. And Joseph, how were you able to get like such great ensemble supporting actors? I mean, from Dan Stevens to Steve Buscemi, all these great, amazing talents. Michael Sheen. I mean, Michael everyone. Sheen play your this nephew is, <laughs> with a man, New York Jewish is, accent. I mean, ask me about what a joy it is to play with every day an extraordinary actor who was, who was egoless. Right. There were no prima donnas there at all. <laughs> and it was usually, the, the, the dynamic on the set was the reverse of what you'd expect. It was Richard trying to, to get their attention and not the other way around. He was, try, he was trying to get into their world. They were always the alpha right. beings in every scene. It's true. They were all young Richard Gears. Uh, <laughs> upcoming <laughs> young Richard Gears. But th there's a chain reaction that happens that's kind of miraculous. But if you, I mean, you start out with having a movie with Richard Gere and then that that creates a, 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 a situation where people want to be part of it. And then as you bring on more actors, other actors say, all right, this is a good group to be part of. And, and that's how it kind of comes together.